in this video we are looking at the brand new ship that you can get which is a secret hidden quest that also leads to this legendary armor the ship is incredible it allows you to jump multiple systems at once it's just bigger got more storage faster got more weapons and it's very easy to get and i have only i started at level six i'm level nine now started at level six you have to go to a place that's pretty far away but it's fairly easy i'm going to take you through it now just to see what rewards you get when you go here um i will show you first and foremost i did get this weapon and this was off one of the enemies that were inside the place we're gonna go to i think this is a random drop i don't think it's guaranteed but it is a monster of a weapon it's like a pulse rifle from destiny it fires multiple shots from range randomly deals incendiary damage everything gets set on fire it's just a ridiculously good gun so so good but the suit is what we are looking at first and foremost it's a quest called mantis so you look like a mantis sentinel's mantis space suit it gives you technician minus 15 percent damage from robot enemies weapon holsters weapons weigh 50 percent less so you can carry more and sentinel 75 percent chance to reduce damage by 50 percent while standing still i like this because you know with my little range weapon i am standing still quite a lot but you can do that with any weapon too then the backpack um legendary as well beast hunter minus 15 percent damage from alien enemies resources weigh 25 percent less and four percent chance to reflect back attacks and it's a boost pack so all of this stuff combined is just ridiculous for a, for an early start into the game getting some beast ass armor and a new ship o2 boosted with the helmet plus 20 percent oxygen capacity so you can run further Plus two max auto attempts that can be banked while hacking. So hacking is improved and reactive 10% chance to stagger nearby attackers. I did this. It took me an, just over an hour um, because I was doing other stuff along the way too. So I reckon you could get this done in about 50 minutes, 45 minutes to get all of this stuff and the ship itself. The ship oh, is just beautiful, beautiful. It's a class A, so it's not like super, super magnificent, but for a brand like a starting ship that you want to get, this is really, really good. It's got good um, attack systems. It can jump far. It's got big, big cargo. It's it's just a great ship to have, honestly. Um, and that's about it for what you get. But let's talk about how you get it. When you start the game and you get to New Atlantis, you will meet Constellation and Sarah Morgan. You'll do a quest line for them called The Old Neighborhood and you'll do a bunch of things and you get to the point where you get your own room in Constellation's mansion and then you'll be led to talk to Sarah who will take you around New Atlantis and start doing a few missions with you and you've got to go find a Vanguard ship. At one point during this quest you have to go and scan a beacon, a satellite that's in one of the space areas. You know you're there because you'll have to turn off all your engines to not attract the attention of other pirates that are going to kill you if you don't. And this will lead you to a shipyard that you need to get to. And that's called the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Once you are here, you got to go through this whole area and wipe them all out. Kill absolutely everybody. But you need to be looting the bodies because the bodies will drop notes for you to read about a secret outpost. It will pop up in the top corner saying new mission Mantis. Read the secret outpost slate. Go into your inventory, read it, and then it will lead you to the Mantis area now you're going to be traveling quite far here and the enemies are a little bit higher level when i was there as a level 7 the highest level enemy i was fighting was a level 38 luckily i had a really beast shotgun that i got a legendary shotgun that dropped for me and that was had like explosive damage as well so that really helped me out a lot but if you get a solid weapon even if it's like a blue modified weapon and just stack up on amps on med packs on things to eat a lot of ammo and have a decent spacesuit to take some damage you will be absolutely fine it is easier than you think it's gonna be now to get to the system where this mantis quest ends you will need to jump multiple times through different systems when you go to the missions area and you press the set course and it takes you and shows you where this new system is there will be a lot of red lines leading from system to system that means you can't jump that far so you're gonna have to go to the nearest white marker that you can towards your new system that you're trying to get to fly there and then you have to go one system at a time until you get to the system that you need to be in for the mantis quest along the way you should touch down in neon and neon will allow you to get all those armors and 
um, ammo and health and all the things that you're going to need to help fight once you do get there it's fairly straightforward there's going to be a lot of enemies for you to kill and it's going to take a while you're going to have to heal quite a lot but if you even with a shotgun and you're getting close you can do two hit kills if you've got a ranged weapon even better because a lot of the enemies are like at the bottom of steps or across a room and you can pick them off without taking too much damage i had sarah morgan with me as well also so she would get in the way and take some damage while i was shooting from behind and it's just it just you just have to take your time with it and obviously you can save as well and if you die there's checkpoints so it's not too detrimental to lose a fight or anything of that nature but you're gonna go through kill everything loot everybody get all the things that you need uh, there'll be some notes that get dropped and some things that help you towards the quest you have to go and activate some buttons and listen to some things and eventually it will lead you to a shady little guy um who's saying oh i can help you with the traps but i want to look at the the rewards and then you can either choose to keep him or just shoot him in the face i shot him in the face because he looked a bit dodgy and sarah morgan was even like yeah this guy's a bit wrong it's a bit weird but you go through and then you get to a room where there's a puzzle and this room is important because you have to really concentrate here because if you don't concentrate you will die the room is a trap it's got loads of little black slates on the floor and four turrets ahead of you if you step on the wrong slate it will tear you apart and you'll die on each of these slates there are letters and you need to spell out the word tyrannis that's t y r a n n i s each row of letters is one of those so on the first row you're looking for t on the second row you're looking for y r a n n i s and the turrets won't turn on once you get through this area you're going to start making your way down to where the ship is held you're going to find some robots here that are going to be a bit more beefy a bit harder to kill and even a gigantic robot dog dude who was a monster i threw a mine at him which blew him and sarah up which was pretty funny to be honest um, but once you get through all that and you kill everything you'll have access to the ship you run over to it you press a little button it sends it up to the surface so you can go and get it after you've finished and on the way out through the area where it's taking you anyway you'll you'll get to loot a bunch of things there'll be weapon cases and then there will be the armor you go outside go up to the top get in your new ship and go all in all with preparation and taking my time with the battles and stuff to make sure that i don't die this took me an hour and 10 minutes i've definitely could have got it done in about 45 minutes if i just went hell for leather and didn't worry too much but the only thing that really is a test here is the puzzle room and if you just take your time look at what letters are on the slates you are going to be completely fine and you'll get all this beast stuff so hit the like button if this helped you are you going to do this? Are you going to get this? Let me know if you already have it or not down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.